school finished, so go ahead. Well, better not start now looking for reservations, but <laughs> hopefully you have reservations <laughs> more tomorrow, and you're all set to go, and it will be dry come tomorrow night. On the other hand, it has been a soggy day so far, but it's been another mild day. 57, 53 temperatures are beginning to drop a bit, and it is going to be a cooler day tomorrow. In Indianapolis, we've picked up just over uh, two tenths of an inch of rain, and we're going to add to this total, so I'll have some updated numbers for you when you join us tonight at 11. Uh, it is a rainy view over downtown Indianapolis where we have rain and 51. That's the new low for the day and temperatures will continue to drop into the 40s as we head through the overnight hours. Winds out of the south southwest at six. We're in the low 50s Indianapolis East, but you can see that cooler air. We're already down to 42 degrees in Lafayette. We continue to track the rain with live Doppler 13 radar. Some of the heaviest along Interstate 69 and west in between Marion and Wabash. That's tracking northeast toward Fort Wayne, but we do have steady rain in Marion, Gas City, Fairmount, uh, Kokomo, Tipton, Cicero. It's raining in Hartford City and Muncie. Marion County, you can see the steady rain over downtown Indianapolis to the north side and then south to Beach Grove and Southport. This is tracking off to the east and northeast, so Acton, New Pal, be prepared. Some of that steadier rain moving back your way. We've got rain in Nashville that will move toward Nineveh and Columbus. This weather system relatively moving slow. That will mean we've got rain over the next several hours. Future Track 13. Join us tonight at 11 o'clock. We'll still be tracking the rain with live Doppler 13 radar, and it continues to fall through probably two or three in the morning, at least the steadiest. Even early tomorrow, eight, nine in the morning, we'll have some lingering pockets of drizzle and a couple of stray showers before we really start to dry out from west to east, and that will happen tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, and that is good timing for your New Year's Eve plans. It's going to be a cooler day, more clouds than sunshine after the rain ends tomorrow afternoon, highs in the mid 40s. We'll be in the low 40s early evening and then ringing in the new year in the upper 30s at midnight, forecasting 38 degrees. But we warm right back up for the first day of 2023, 50 to 55 with dry conditions and a little bit of sunshine on Sunday afternoon. Rain continues to fall through at least mid morning tomorrow. Then we'll dry things out tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Happy New Year on Sunday, 55, 57 for a warm Monday. The warmest is Tuesday, 63, but that comes with rain, wind, and maybe a couple of thunderstorms.